In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a full-time salary with Shopify dropshipping within one month to six months. Now, this is the same strategy that I used when I first started dropshipping back in 2017, and the same strategy works even in 2024. Now, the great news about this video is you can run your Shopify dropshipping business alongside your full-time job as long as you're committing between one to three hours of solid focus work each and every single day. So as you guys can see on my computer screen, I've loaded up a load of results that I got back when I first started Shopify dropshipping back in 2017. And I had my first massive success between 2018 and 2019. And this is where I was able to make a full-time salary. So as you guys can see on the screen, there's some screenshots here of Lifetimely. Now Lifetimely actually shows you the profit margin, not just the revenue. And you can see that this screenshot here, I made $20,000 in profit. This little video here, I made $25,000 in profit. So you can see very early on, I was able to achieve some amazing profit margins. Now, not just that, but you can see loads of other really cool OG screenshots of Shopify dropshipping dashboards where I'm doing $300,000, I'm doing $10,000 in a day, I'm doing $50,000. Now, the reason why I wanna show you these really old school screenshots is because I wanna try and resonate with you guys as much as possible, explaining and showing to you guys that I was once in your position, which was a complete beginner and not knowing what I was doing. Now, what you guys have to understand when you're seeing these results on the screen as I was still living with my mom and dad when I was achieving these numbers because I didn't truly believe that this was gonna actually carry on long term. I just thought this was some pot luck and it was gonna go away. But if we keep scrolling down, you can see the screenshots of going from 2018, 2017, now all the way up to 2024. Now these aren't all the screenshots and revenue numbers that I've got. You can go on my YouTube channel and look at all the case studies that I've done where I show you all of my numbers. But as you guys can see, if I keep scrolling down, the dates change from 2017, if we keep scrolling to 2020, to then 2022 to 2023. And then these ones here at the bottom are very recent within the last few months. And then if I go back up, you can see here, this one from 2021, we did over $80,000 in one single day. Now this was peak COVID times here where we're doing 200K a month. Now, if you're watching this video with me today, you are looking to join the Ecom King Vault and you're wondering what even is the Ecom King Vault and should I even join it? So let me tell you guys a little bit about what the vault is, the benefits of it and why it's a no brainer to join. Now the Ecom King Vault is my mentorship for completely free and it is an in-house designed app by me and my team. We've not gone out there and use Kajabi or any other app. We built this from the ground up so that we can add whatever we want to this community. So when you create an account, you get access to everything that we've designed in-house because we believe it's the best thing for you guys in terms of the way we teach you and the way you navigate through the vault. You've also got the community through Discord and through the vault, and you've got all the lessons, modules. We're also gonna be adding to this throughout every single month of the year. You're also gonna get access to deals, giveaways. Now we've already given away $25,000 in cash prizes. So this isn't a joke when I say the vault has some insane giveaways that loads of people can win. Now we're also gonna be doing live calls and you can only join them through the vault. And again, this is all free by the way. So it's a no brainer for every single one of you to join. If you're looking to take e-com and drop shipping seriously, then the vault is that solution for your mentorship and to have a community of like-minded people. And I'm honestly gonna say the vault is in its early stages. We built it, we're developing it, and we're adding to it. It's only gonna get better and better from here, guys. So you're gonna be experiencing the best community grow from its early stages. Now, we're also gonna have offers and deals in there that you can't get anywhere else with partners that you're gonna be using anyway. So if you wanna save a lot of money on those softwares or tools, the vault's got you covered. Now, the only thing that we ask you guys to do if you wanna join the vault is you have to start a new Shopify store so we can track your success by using the vault teachings and you've just gotta keep it active. If you deactivate your Shopify store whilst onboarding through the vault, then you'll get kicked out. There's no point you being in the vault if you've not got an active Shopify account because that way you're not actually doing anything. We don't wanna have people in the community that are not participating. So as long as you keep your new Shopify store active, 
active that's connected to the vault, you're gonna be in there as long as your Shopify subscription is active. We've built communities in the past where we just let anyone in and it gets really negative and bad because you've got people that are sidelined in, that are hating because they've had failures from the past or they've not even tried it. So we just want an active group where people are trying every single day, day in, day out with their store in the vault. And by doing that, the vault has been so successful so far. We've had loads of students in the vault already achieve their first $100, $1,000, even $10,000 because of how active the community is and how good the teachings are inside the vault. With that being said, guys, I can't wait to see you in there. I'll see you soon. So now I've explained how this strategy works. Now let me show you exactly step-by-step step how you can do it. Now step one is finding your seven-figure and eight-figure product. Now this is the product that I found and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can find it as well. Now this is my example throughout the video. So pay very close attention to what I'm about to say. Now, like I just said to you guys, this is a seven-figure and eight-figure product, but I'm not looking to replicate those numbers. I'm just looking to replicate 100,000 to $300,000. Because again, if we hit the average profit, margins, I should be able to make a yearly salary from those numbers. Now, just to show you guys that this is a drop shipping product, you can see here clearly what the product is. It's a portable ice bath. And you can see here on AliExpress, this is the exact same product, custom logo. It's an AliExpress drop shipping product. So now I've shown you that this is a drop shipping product. I want to show you that it's a seven figure and eight figure product. And then I want to show you how I can find a gap within the market. That's going to allow me to make between $100,000 and $300,000 in revenue. So how I found the product and how I knew it was going to be a seven figure or eight figure dropshipping product was because I came to this website called the Landers Library by PageDeck. Now this is a website where they post the best landing pages for e-commerce products. Now most of the time all of these companies that are posted on this website are going to be seven figure or eight figure brands. One of these websites that you find, you're gonna find the drop shipping alternative very easily, or it is actually gonna be a drop shipping product. Now, this is just one of the ways that I find seven figure and eight figure products. And this is what we call a valid database, a database that's gonna show me loads of potential products I just now need to go out there and do some research to figure out if I should sell it. Now, this will just depend on if I can find a gap in the market. And when I say a gap in the market, how can I come into the market and sell myself as somebody that's completely different to everyone else that is competing with each other? Now, when you see these brands like this one here, the portable ice bath, these ain't the only people advertising this product. Now, if I come over to the Facebook ad library, which shows you all the advertisers advertising, and I search in portable ice bath, look at how many different brands are competing for a portable ice bath. Now, this is one of the biggest brands that are doing it, but you can see loads and loads of different brands are competing to sell these portable ice baths. Look, this is another company here. They're called The Pod Company, and you can see they're running loads and loads of ads selling the same ice bath. Now, what I want to do is I want to pay very close attention to what videos they're running, what ad copies they've got, what marketing language are they using, how are they trying to advertise the product, what is their main way of trying to sell this to me. This is where we find a gap in the market. How are they trying to sell this product to people? Now, I also want to figure out are they running this only in the US and the main countries like the UK? Are they selling it just in English in terms of the language? Are there any places for me to jump in and try and sell this product? Now, if I compare the two biggest guys competing for this product, which is New Recover and this other page here called The Pod, you can see that their ads are very, very similar. They're using a lot of emojis. The copywriting is pretty much very similar. The videos are also very similar. These guys are pretty much trying to promote weight loss and recovery, and these guys are doing pretty much the same thing. So what I would say is these guys are competing for the same market with the same marketing angle, with the same solution. The only difference is who's going to make the better ads out of these two, which is very hard to do so. For us to come into the market and try and compete with these guys, it's going to be hard. Do you know the reasons why? They've got more money than us. They've got more resources than us. And I'm talking as a beginner. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to examine if their ads are winning ads. A winning ad basically means that their ads have been running for a decent amount of time, meaning days 
or they're duplicating their ads aggressively, meaning that they keep running more and more ads. Now, what's the reason for me wanting to know that information? Number one, it gives me confidence in the product. And number two, it gives me confidence on the platform. If I'm gonna wanna advertise this on Facebook, I need to see proof of concept. Now, for you to be able to find out this information, you need to use an ad spy tool like Peekster or Winning Hunter, because when you type in the niche name or the actual page name, you can see here on Peekster, you can sort it by ad score or by performance. Now, if I go over to Winning Hunter, you can see here, I've typed in the name of the page and then I sorted it by winners, formerly consistent. Now you can see by me doing that, I can now see all of the same ads that are coming up, but I've got these green lights here, which says ad score winning, ad has been running longer than seven days. So whenever you see these green lights, it means that the ad is a winning ad. So you can see for that company, Nuvu Cover, all of their ads are green lit and they are winning. Now, if you look underneath the ad, you can see something called scaling. It says 100%, 100%, 100%. That is a positive sign that this product is making a lot of money and there's a lot of confidence on the Facebook platform. Now, again, you can do this with any ad spy tool as long as they've got those two filters, which is either ad score or ad performance. Now, unfortunately, with the ad library, it doesn't give you those filters, so you can't really figure out if the product is scaling scaling on Facebook or not, or if there's any confidence because Facebook really doesn't tell you some great information like product research tools or ad spy tools like Peekster and Winning Hunter. Now, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do, and this is where ad spy tools again win over the ad library, is we're gonna wanna filter this by country. So you can see here, you can filter this by Australia, Canada, Switzerland, France, Germany, New Zealand. Now, ad spy tools will give you the filter by country because you wanna know if these brands are running these ads in other countries if they're not guess what that's where you find the gap within the market now guys by just doing some simple ai research you can figure out where there's other markets out there that are willing to buy this product now i asked chat gbt 40 what countries are the most interested in ice bath tubs outside of the usa now the usa is the country that this company is selling their products in. So we want to compete outside, not within. So Australia is one of them, India and China, but those two aren't great to sell in, but Germany's also come up. So I can focus on Germany. I can focus on Australia. Now I've also typed in ice bath tub onto Google Trends and filtered it by worldwide 2004. And you can see a huge demand for it. And you can see the countries by region where are interested. You've got Cayman Islands, Iceland, so Iceland's another good one that I can focus on. If I go to page two, you've got Australia, Ireland, New Zealand. So these are other countries that I can focus on. Now guys, this is where things get even more interesting. Now I've asked ChatGBT, who are the biggest influencers promoting ice baths? Now, why is that even a good question? If I can find a big enough influencer that lives outside of the US and has a core audience outside of the US, I've already won this strategy. And guess what? Number one is Wim Hof. Everyone knows who Wim Hof is. He's the Iceman. It's this guy right here. And he promotes the technology of ice baths. You can see him right here. He's talking about using ice baths all the time for loads of different health benefits. Now you can see the majority of Wim Hof search results come from the Netherlands, Ireland, Slovenia. So this is great for me because I've just found a new country to sell to, which is gonna be the Netherlands, which guess what, is a Dutch market. Who else speaks Dutch? Germany. Bang, just like that, guys, we've got two countries that we can now focus on. Germany and the Netherlands can be our two countries that are gonna help us make $100,000 to $300,000 with this exact same product. Now, if we think even more smarter about our creatives, our video ads, what people are gonna see when we advertise a product on Facebook, we can use a winning hook. A winning hook is the first five seconds. We can use Wim Hof in this barrel in ice and say, instead of using a barrel or copy the Wim Hof method and buy our portable ice bath. Imagine seeing an ad in the Netherlands, in Germany, everyone knows who this man is in those countries and you see him in this ice bath, you're gonna know straight away what it's about. You come to my website, and then I'm selling you this in the Netherlands, in Dutch, in their native language. Again, if you look at this guy's page, 
He's only advertising to pain relief. He's talking about celebrities using it, but he's not really tapping into any one market. You can see here, they're going for the whole market. So imagine my landing page looks similar to this, but I'm focusing on the Dutch market. I've got Wim Hof on here on an image ad. I'm also talking about the benefits that Wim Hof says about the product. So I can use Wim Hof here and the advice that he gives. Imagine that guys, that whole landing page just for the Dutch market, just for the Netherlands, just for Germany, I could make between a hundred and three hundred thousand dollars. Now you can use AI these days to change your videos into Dutch, to change your websites into Dutch. You don't have to if you don't want to. I would recommend that you test English and Dutch. Let's say hypothetically, I want to sell this in Germany and the Netherlands. I would try my ads in English. I'd also try them in Dutch. I'd also try my landing page in Dutch and I'd also try it in English. I would test both of them out to see how it does. But now by me showing you guys that I hope it makes a lot of sense how I've been able to take this seven figure, eight figure product and I've now found a new audience that would wanna buy it outside of the main countries that these big giants selling this are competing within. I do not wanna go in there and compete. I wanna find somewhere else to sell it in. So guys, before we move on to the next part of today's video, I wanna give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is gonna be Unified Dropshipping. Now, Unified Dropshipping are the best logistic partner to partner with when it comes to scaling an e-commerce or dropshipping business. So whether you're looking to white label, whether you're looking to scale, they are the best agents in this space when it comes to scaling your business. They can help you get the cheapest product cost, low minimum order quantity. So instead of having to buy 100 units, 200 units, they can start working with you between, let's say 20 to 50. So it's an easier way to tap into the market where you can start to scale it aggressively. You can also white label with Unify. So if you're looking to make a custom version of your product, you can do that. Or if you're looking to add logos to the packaging or the product, you can also do that all through Unify dropshipping. Their goal is to go out there and make sure they're finding the best price for your product that you're looking to scale with and to look for the best manufacturer that makes that product to make sure that the quality of the product that your customer is receiving receiving is the highest and to make sure that you don't get any higher returns because they make sure that before it leaves the manufacturer, before it leaves the warehouse, the product is in the best quality. It's not broken, it's not damaged and it matches exactly what you want to sell. Now I've been a long-term customer of Unified Dropshipping. I used them for one of my seven-figure dropshipping stores before and we never had issues with them. We had the best product pricing and we had really good shipping times between three and eight days. So if you're looking to scale your e-commerce business or your dropshipping store, then make sure you check out Unified Dropshipping in the description below. Now the next thing that I wanted to go over quickly was product pricing. You can see that these guys are selling it for around about $120, this is in pounds, and they're buying it for around about 20 pounds. That means they're making a margin of around about 60 to 80 pounds. Now that's amazing because it means that even if it cost them 30 pounds to get somebody to buy it on an ad on Facebook, they're still making profit. The point that I'm making guys is if you want to make money in drop shipping, you have to have good margins. Now that is considered a good margin. Anything between 40 and $60 within your product is great. Anything underneath that, then you're really going to struggle to make any good margins. The game of dropshipping is all about your margin. Now, you can do that through average order value. You can see here, you can select the pro version, you can select the pod max version, and the price dramatically changes. Now, this is definitely going to help with your profit margins, but if your core margin, even on the basic product, isn't between $40 and $60 or $30 and $60, you're really gonna struggle to make any money. If you're watching this and you're trying to sell products and make $10, $20, you're really cutting it really short and you're not gonna really be able to make any money doing this. Again, you can buy a product for $3 and sell it for $50 if the perceived value is there. What is the perceived value in that person's head? Again, this bottle of water could be sold to me for let's say $10 if the perceived value is there. This iPhone that I paid, you know, 1400 pounds for, I bought it because I thought it was worth that much money. It might have cost Apple, what, 100, 200 pounds to make it. The point I'm trying to make, guys, is everything is based on perceived value. You have to create the perceived value for somebody to believe it. That could be down to what you're saying on the website. You know, when you see celebrities using it, the perceived value goes up. When you see people getting benefits from doctors, the perceived value goes up. 
So it's all about perceived value and you've got to figure out how to get good at doing that. Now, when it comes to your website design, it is very important because it's all about your copywriting and the images. They all should correlate to what angle and what audience you're trying to focus on. For example, with the Wim Hof method, I'd have images of him on here. I'd use text from him on here. In terms of the layout, you can pretty much use the same layout as this store if you really wanted to. You'd have to change the graphics, you'd have to change the writing, but the main layout works, and I'm pretty sure this is the shrine theme. Now, the point that I'm trying to make to you guys is, the website's important, but it's about what you put on the website. Now, I've made plenty of videos of how you can create your own Shopify store that looks professional, so I'll leave a link to those videos in the description, but if you guys want my theme, you can get it if we get a 1,000 likes on this video. I'll give you a replicated version of my themes that look just like this for a 1,000 likes. If we hit those 1,000 likes, I'll leave it in the pinned comment. If we look at the competitor's website, it's not as nice, but it follows that same traditional layout of how you should make your websites look. The benefits, frequently asked questions, you versus them, benefits again, and then the guarantee and reviews. The same layout works. The layout is fine as long as it looks like this. It's about what you put on the website. Now, the next point that I really wanna make to you guys is your creatives, which is, as you can see here on the ad library, it needs to explain exactly what you're doing on your website. If the ad and the website don't match, then you're gonna throw people off. They have to match. So if I'm using the Wim Hof method of trying to tap into the Dutch market, German market, Netherlands market, I need to make sure that my ads show that in the copywriting, it shows it in the image, it shows it in the video, so it makes sense. Again, I really wanna divide myself away from these guys, so I've gotta make it look like I'm not even trying to compete with them. I'm trying to look for a totally different market. Like I said before, my winning hook, which is the first five seconds of my video, you can see their video there, could be a video of Wim Hof getting into an ice barrel and him talking about the benefits and then showing our product after. That's how simple the ad could be. Now, I do think that this Wim Hof angle is very aggressive and it could work extremely well on ads if done correctly. That could yield us a great return very quickly because we're gonna tap into a market that's never been touched before in that way in terms of they've never seen an ad hit them like that that correlates with what they're thinking. So your goal watching this is to find those successful products, find those huge gaps in the market, do not compete with the biggest guys in the market because you will not win as a beginner. And then you want to find some new audiences, some new countries to sell to with an angle that's going to resonate with them. Again, if you're using an American strategy to a European market, it's probably not going to work. You want to find people that they resonate with, that they trust, and you want to use them as the angle and as the trust magnet for them to buy off you. Now, by me using Wim Hof in my creative for the product, it's for me to try and build trust with that European Dutch market because they already trust him and they agree with the advice that he gives. Now, I'm just going to sell the product that he recommends because remember, that cold audience that sees my ad on Facebook, they're not going to trust me because I'm just some new random person to them. But if they see Wim Hof, they're going to trust that person. So the next thing that I want to talk about is your Facebook ad strategy. So now you've found a gap in the market, you've created your ads, you've created your store. Now I've made plenty of videos out there on how to create a store, how to create ads. So I'll leave them both linked in the description so you can learn how to create your own video ads, your own websites on Shopify. But once you've got that all out of the way, we now need to talk about the Facebook ad strategy. Now, if you want my full Facebook ad tutorial, I'll leave it linked in the description as well. Or if you want a cheat sheet that explains the whole strategy, as soon as we hit 2,000 likes, it will be in the pinned comment and in the description below. So guys, that is the exact same strategy that I used back at the start of my Shopify dropshipping journey back in 2017 to make my first full-time salary. Now, this is the same strategy that works today for beginners because the beginners that I've taught the last few years still use this strategy and are still able to make amazing income. Now, for this strategy to work, you've got to test it, you've got to know what you're doing and you've got to really try it out. And the key is not to rush it. If you rush it, it will not work. But with that being said, guys, let me know what you thought of this strategy in the comment section below. Let me know if you want to see a follow-up video. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.